okay, because this is all about you. But let's try to get through it in the next sort of 45 minutes so we can get you guys out of that boat at 10 o'clock as promised. So here we go. So again, what you do, okay? Again, you, you can go to be a doctor, all that studying or an engineer. Here's what we do in isogenics. We use the products. That's all I had Amy do. She learned the system, which is pretty darn simple. And then now she's sharing her story. Okay, that's all we do. Please don't make it any more complicated than that. Okay, you can, but it's gonna go slow. You want it to go quick, talk to Leroy. You've gotta keep it simple. That's what counts. Okay, this, okay, so this is company. This is what the company does, all this great stuff. This is what you do. Okay, you, can, you can choose to be the company and worry about research and development and product licensing and events and facility, facilitating all the payments and packaging and logistics and product formulation and opening new markets and registration and all the commissions. I mean, you can do all that. But you know what, Jeremy, it's all yours, buddy. I mean, I'm having way too much fun. From here I go back to KL, Super Saturday, on Saturday in KL, Sunday I'm flying to Hawaii to meet up with my family and play on the beach. Yet, you know what? While I'm in Hawaii, every Monday morning, guess what? They're paying me. And I love it. Okay, I, I want really nothing to do with this. Okay, Jim Coover, Jeremy, Dado, Kevin Adams, I'm grateful they're there for us. Okay, they work way harder than we do. I'll let you know on a secret. Jeremy probably doesn't like that fact, but that's the reality, okay? All right? Three things. Really simple. Use the products. Learn the system. Share your story. That's it. Okay. Your support. We have tremendous online office. Again, I told you they invested over $25 million US in their website. Okay, online shop. If someone ever goes to your webpage, buys product retail, what happens is you get the difference between wholesale and retail, they deposit into your bank account. Really clean. And then you have your team, okay? Now, getting people started, basically it's right there. My pack, and we have a 100% money back guarantee. It doesn't get easier than that, right? Like, just try, Alan, try the products. You have nothing to lose. 29 days from now, you can pick up the phone, come visit Jeremy, say, you know what, Jeremy? I don't like it. I want my money back, please. No questions asked. You get a refund on your product. Okay? So we want to start people with 300 BB. 300 BB is key. You want to sign them up as an associate. Okay, they must purchase a minimum of 300 BB. If they don't, they're just a preferred customer paying retail. Now I'll let you in on a secret. Another little secret, okay? If I have the choice between buying wholesale and retail, and you don't tell me I can buy wholesale rather than retail, I'm not gonna like you very much, okay? Like if, if I'm gonna buy a new watch, or a nice new sports car, if I can get a wholesale versus retail, I want wholesale all day long. Okay, same thing. All right, and Roller will get the retail profit. I, I, you know, I don't even worry, this, this doesn't even exist in my reality and on our okay. team. We enroll everyone with the My Pack. In Australia, they call it a President's Pack, Silver Pack in Malaysia. I mean, we just call it a Starter Pack in our team. Corporately, Jeremy, you know what? You can call it anything you want. We're just gonna call it a starter pack. We start everyone with 300 BV. We keep it simple. You guys call it whatever you want, wherever you want. But anyways, okay. Like Amy, when she came in, we, we got her on that initial third day program, and then we had her continue. You guys get to choose the makeup of your monthly maintenance. And it's 100 BV to remain active. Now, and Leroy, correct me if I'm wrong, with some of the other big companies out there, um, I referenced one that was top 10, starts with an N, about 30 years of age. If you're making 50000 a month with them, the amount of product you need to order on a monthly basis is about $2,000. Correct, Leroy? Yeah, okay. 
a lot of companies, as you go up in the pay structure, so you're making more money, you need to purchase more product. Now, reality is, I'll happily purchase $2,000 a month to get a $50,000 check. I mean, you'd be crazy not to. However, in Isogenics, when Alan joins later this evening, okay, in order for Alan to be active, he has to purchase 100 BV a month. And BV is just business volume. If this is a product and it exchanges hands, what ends up happening is, is there's a point value associated with it. We call it a business volume, okay? So that's all that is. But you only have, to, Alan only has to purchase 100 BV a month our number one money earner right now, Herb and Patty Cepeda, who are on their fourth position, about to start their fifth position, okay, only have to purchase 100 BV a month to keep a position active, okay? So that, again, another nice thing about Isogenics. Okay, <clears throat> so how many people could you share Isogenics with? Two people, could you share it with two people during the month, okay? If you enroll two people in a week, you get double PIB. Now, the reality is, is if you share it with two people in a month, that would be $200. That more than covers your monthly maintenance. You're on the Eat for Free program now, okay? You can be a little bit strategic. I'm telling you that right now, because if today was Saturday and I was enrolling Alan, I may very well sit on his application form, try to get a second person, and then if not, I'd enroll a Monday and it'd give me another week to come up with one more person so I make sure I get the double PIB. I mean, this is business, huh? So you gotta treat it like a business. Okay. Just say it. Good thing Jeremy left the room. Anyways, the 50 PIB for my pack, right, two, is $100. So double PIB is $200. That takes care of your maintenance. So if anyone is talking to you and saying, well, I can't continue on the product. Well, Carissa, what's your health worth? I mean, you told me you're sleeping better. You have more energy. I mean, there's all these health benefits. You don't want to feel that way anymore? You want to go back to the old way where you didn't sleep very well or anything like that? Come on. Two people a month will take care of your product. You're on the Eat for Free program. Why wouldn't you do it? Okay, so launching a 90-day game plan. And again, if you talk to any professional networkers, again, if you look in this book, they talk about a 90-day game plan here also. I don't know if I, I don't have all the key. But anyways, the whole idea is, this isn't something that you do month in, month out, month in, month out. This is a hardcore 90-day push to launch your business. Or it may be someone that's been in for a while, and you know what, timing has been such, I don't know, with family, whatever's going on, that you haven't been really able to jump in and give it your all. But now maybe it is your time. So if you're gonna do that, this will really launch your business. It's all about massive action. Okay, who should do a 90-day game plan? Okay, this isn't for everyone all the time. I'm telling you that right now. The reality is, is if you did one serious 90-day push a year, you'd be doing really great. Okay? But you're gonna have to negotiate with your family. Okay? If you have children, your significant other is gonna have to hold down the fort a bit, because we're, this is all in. If you're gonna do this 90-day game plan, it's all in, okay? Anyone serious about building their business, what can happen? Now this is really cool, a Andy Ricky. Okay, <clears throat> he was cycling five times a week. During that 90 day game plan, and he was down in Australia, he hit it hard. 90 days later, he was at 30 cycles a week. 30 cycles a week is basically 100,000 a year. Was it worth the effort, if you ask him? Absolutely, okay. Look at this, in his first five months, more as a product user, sharing it a little bit, he made $8,000. Launches his 90-day game plan February, March, April. During that period, he made 14,500. Now look at, this is the key about the 90-day game plan, the, the ripple effect from all that activity. Look what happened, the following four months, he made $45,000. 
okay? That's the magic about it. It's this massive push, but the cumulative effect changes everything, doesn't it? It does. Okay, so decide what level you're prepared to play at. Level one, you're talking about 10 to 20 hours a week. So if you have a full-time job, you can still do this. Level two, a little bit more challenging, okay? I'm sure there's some business or owners in here that are working 70 to 80 hours a week. When I was running my clothing company, guess what? I was 70 to 80 hours a week all the time. Okay, so you may, you may be a full-time employee for someone, but you could still pay at level two for 90 days. Much more than that, I don't think so. But you could do 90 days. And what I would say is if you're gonna do that and make that kind of commitment, I would really strongly encourage you to get two of your friends to link arms with and do it together. Because if you're doing it all on your own, chances are you're not gonna make it. I mean, I, I, again, I don't think I would. I honestly don't. I'm pretty committed, I'm pretty driven, but if I was to do it, I'd rather do it with Leroy, or I'd rather do it with Clinton, where we're, the three of us are, okay, it's all in the next 90 days, look out. Right, and then, hey, Leroy, how many people do you talk to today, or, or what are your moments going on this right now, or hey, guess what, like, let's drive, to, let's do a, a launch party where all three of us are driving people to this event, and like, we'd be strategizing, and we'd make it fun, okay? Doing this all on my own, I'd never do it. Okay, that's just me. Some of you may do it 100% on your own. I'd rather do it with a team. I like high-fiving and celebrating. I'm just too much of that. Okay, level three, this is crazy level. Okay, as a full-time employee, chances are you can't do this. Okay, but you're talking about 40 to 80 hours a week. This is crazy. Now, this is what Andy did. Okay. Andy's wife held down the fort. He had 90 day permission just to go for it. Okay, and there were some stressful times during, during it. I did a team interview with them, and, and he'll say, Yeah, it got a little bit crazy a few of the times going through that period, but now they're rocking. Okay, it was worth the effort. If you talk to him all day long, does he want to start another one tomorrow? Uh huh. <laughs> but you know, he goes, Next year probably we'll do it again. Okay, so it's a massive burst of activity for 90 days. Anyone can do something for 90 days, okay? You wanna create a 90 day vision. Where are you gonna be? What are you shooting for in 90 days? You hit that target, what's the perk? Are you gonna grab you and your husband or you and your family and are you gonna to fly to Bali for a week as a reward? Okay. You, you look at how much he bumped his income, he could afford to take this family to Bali for a week or two weeks. Okay, so if you're gonna do a big push and play at a crazy level three, okay, you gotta create a 90 day vision. There's gotta be a reward in there to, for you and your family and your kids, okay? You wanna have some written goals. There's the accountability partner. It, it's, for me, it's way easier if I'm doing it with Leroy than doing it on my own, okay? <clears throat> I say FYI, they have daily tips there if you're doing a 90 day blitz. So you can tap into that. Get a vision, establish your why. Okay, where's the perk? Okay. Ident this is crucial, this one. Identify and eliminate <laughs> distractions. Okay, you've got to identify what your distractions are and you've got to eliminate them. Now, for some of us, TV. You know that screen thing on the wall, sort of this size, is a massive distraction. You turn on a movie, poof, there went two hours. You flip the channel, oh, there's Top Gun, and you all of a sudden watch, there, there went four hours of your life, okay? Cool movie and everything, but you know what? There's no BV in TV. <laughs> there isn't. Okay, so if you're gonna do a 90-day blitz, I'll tell you right now, Unplug your TV. You can plug it back in in 90 days, that's okay, but unplug it for 90 days. I promise you, if something happened to the President of the United States, you'd hear about it. Okay? I was, during one of these big pushes, this 90 day push, truly I was, and it was when um, Princess Diana got killed in that car crash, I heard all about it. 
I didn't have TV on. I heard all about it. I knew what was going on. Okay, so you're not going to miss anything. If you unplug the TV, you're still going to find out what's happening in the world. I promise you. Okay? Set up an office. You want to utilize your business blueprints. They're in the back office. If you don't know what they are, talk to your, your mentor. He'll fill you in there. You want to know how to do three-way calls. You want to have some business hours. Okay, I'll, I'll touch on this. <clears throat> When you show up at a job, okay, Jackson shows up, let's say he's working for me, he has to get this stuff done, guess what, I have, he has to get his butt over to Hong Kong to deal with what's going on in Hong Kong, I need to report Friday on my desk by 3 o'clock, got it Jackson? Like, it, it better be on my desk, yes? Yes? Okay, good. Okay, if it isn't there, I'm going to kick his butt. Okay, people will perform to that, we're, 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 we're certain, I don't know, conditioned. In this business, there's no one going to Jackson, guess what buddy, by three o'clock Friday, you better make sure you have your five connects a day for the last five days. I mean, there's no one pushing on him to make damn certain he doesn't. Okay, and that's where this business, remember I said this business is incredibly simple. It is, what you need to do on a consistent basis is very, very simple. It's so simple it becomes incredibly challenging. Okay, and don't beat yourself up that you haven't had the success of some of these other people, okay? A lot of times it has to do with their amount of personal development work they've done. A lot of people are hearing about Jen and Jonah Patch. Never done network marketing before in, in under three years, actually in under two years, making over a million a year. Yeah, I'll let you in on a little secret. They poured into personal development over $100,000 into who they are. Okay, network marketing is all about growing people. It really is, it's, it's elevating people. The, the, the more you learn, the better leader you become, the more money you're gonna make, okay? So they had all this personal development work already done. They just have to figure out 90% of it was done for them. The 10% was just learning the system and they were smart enough just to plug in and follow it. And that's why they're having such tremendous success. Okay, so if you haven't, if it hasn't yet happened for you, that's okay. Okay, we're all on our own journey. Don't beat yourself up. But guess what? Oh, okay, question. How many of you in this room, I want you to be honest, I'm not going to pick on anyone in particular. How many of you in this room find it challenging to read? Like, to, 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 like how many of you read a good book every day? Like, how many of you don't have, do, do not have time to read? Does anyone find it, like, don't have time to read? I'm the only one? Come on, let's be honest. There's a bunch of us, I know for a fact, that don't have time to read. Okay? Now here, here's the reality. You raised your hand, you don't have time to read, correct? Okay. Your name was? Nora. Nora. Could you read just 10 pages a day of a good book? Can? Okay. If you'll commit to reading just 10 pages a day, would anyone say that would be, that finds it challenging to read? Okay. Could every one of you just read 10 pages a day of a book? Yes? yes? Okay. If you do that, over the course of a year, you're gonna read somewhere in between one to two dozen books. If you're reading books like Building an Empire, Think and Grow Rich, As a Man Thinketh, Richest Man in Babylon, Power of Focus, The Slight Edge. If you're reading these books that will really change who you are, I promise you, 12 months from now, it'll be impossible for you to be the same person today as you are today. Because you're, you, you're going to get all these new ideas. You, you're going to change. You're going to grow as a person. Okay, so a little bit of what you're doing, you, you got to be educating yourself on this journey. It's, it's really important. Okay, listen to the podcast from Susan Sly. Listen to the podcast that Luna Payne does, Herb Cepeda, Lynn Hagedorn, Michael. I mean, there's tremendous leaders in our company. Be putting the good information in. 
Just a thought. Okay. Again, who wants to run with you? For me, I put that right at the top because I'm just telling you I need that. Okay. You're always driving to the next event. Okay. Tomorrow is the next event. If you want to move your business forwards, you know what? Commit for the next 12 months to show up every week. You know, hey, guess what? If you're on holidays in Australia, I don't expect you to be here, okay? I'm realistic. But if you're here, and guess what? Here's the deal. You get a call from Nora, and she says, hey, Warren, let's go to the opera tonight. Or maybe there's some ballet on Thursday night in Singapore. The answer is no. I'm booked. I tell you what, Nora, evidently you have the night off. Why don't you come with me and see what's going on? My goal is I'm going to spin it on her. She's not taking me to the opera. I'm taking her to this meeting tomorrow night and listen to Lee share. Okay, you need to be that committed. And I promise you, I drag her. There's no way she'd be getting into the ballet. Okay, who do you know list? This is something that should be constantly evolving. Yes, when you come in, you need to make that list, but then you need to redo it again. If you're about to start a 90-day blitz, guess what? Recreate the list. Okay. Download the 90-day game plan. The first two weeks of the month, it's all about finding people to speak to. You're filling the bucket. You're filling your funnel. Okay. Week three, you should be driving every. If you're doing a 90-day blitz. Week three, almost every single evening you should be doing a launch party, getting people enrolled. This is a machine, okay? Again, you're building a multi-million dollar business. You've got to treat it that way. Stay focused, and here's the big one. It's about helping other people, okay? It's about making a difference in other people's lives. It's going to move your business forwards. Okay, Peter Kelly, 26 years old, 124th millionaire in isogenics. Okay, that's spectacular. Some of you should probably say, you know what, there's no 26 year old should be making a million dollars a year. I'll argue with you. You know what, she deserves it. And all that money represents is lives changed. She's making a difference to tens of thousands of people. She deserves every darn penny of that million dollars a year she's created. Because she's changing lives for the better. Okay? So it really comes down to how many times today has the Isagen story been shared by you or a team member? Because that's really what it's about. Okay? What are you willing to give up, exchange, or sacrifice for 90 days? I'll tell you right now, the TV should be gone. There's other, there's other sacrifices that you probably should make as well. But I mean, that's what it's about. It's your choice. You get to choose. Again, what level? I'm not going to choose what level you need to play at. Leroy's not going to force you. Clinton's not going to force you. Lee's not going to force you. Chris is not going to force you. It's your choice. But if you say you're going to play at a level three or a level two, then do it. Stick, stick to your word. Do it for 90 days. And then let's reevaluate. Okay? I mean, what do you want your isogenics to look like? Right? So, there's a couple other things I wanted to just touch on. And this, this is kind of cool. Okay, some stats. Now, <clears throat> There's one part about connecting with people, okay? And for a lot of individuals, connecting with people is challenging. It doesn't need to be, you can get to mastery where it's simple, okay? I can tell you, I can connect with people all day long, it's not a problem. Where I need to improve is on follow-up. Now look at this. So you've connected with someone at the gym, at Starbucks, at the airport, doesn't matter, okay? 48% of people never follow up with the prospect. Ouch, okay? You know what? Chris, if you don't want to follow up with Alan after tonight, please give me his phone number because I know he can get the executive ship in one month. I'll follow up with him for you, okay? 
So deal? So if you're not going to follow up with them, Alan, you talk to me, okay? Okay, deal. She's going to follow up with them. But I'm serious. Okay, 40, that means half of this room is going to connect with people and you're just going to throw it away. Don't do that. Maybe you have an accountability partner and you let Leroy know, hey, I just met Nancy, Rachel, and Rebecca. And you know what? Please, I guarantee you I'll follow up with them by the end of the week. Maybe you touch base with Leroy on Saturday and goes, okay, Nora, how many did you, did you connect? Did you follow up with them? Okay, me, I need a kick in the butt. That's me. That, that's why I'm sharing this, is because I'm sharing what works for me. Okay, everyone, you know what, Luna Pang, if Herb Cepeda was here, Susan Sly was here, they're going to share something else. I'm just sharing what works for me. I, I'm telling you right now, I need the kick in the butt. With that, there's some friendly persuasion from Leroy, I'll get it done. Okay, now look at this. 25% of the people make a second contact and stop. 12% of people only make three contacts and stop. 10% of people make more than three contacts. Why do so many people follow up? So few people follow up more than three times. Fear of rejection. Okay, if you talk to Jeremy, if you talk to her, Jim and Kathy Coover, if you talk to any of the leadership in Isogenics, Michael Klaus has had a profound effect on this company. He has. Tremendous guy, incredible trainer, one of the top trainers in the industry. I followed up with him for six and a half years before he said yes, and I signed him up. Six and a half years. I gave him product, he threw it away. I gave him product, he threw it away. Okay? Six and a half years. I guarantee you, I got way more Way more than 30, forget the three, add 30, I mean, okay? You gotta do it tactfully, but I'll tell you what. If I connect with you, and I think, oh my goodness, I know you're gonna, you'll change my business. Once you're on my list, there's only two ways to get off my list, Nora, or Alan. Two ways to get off my list. One, you join me, two, you die. <laughs> Only two ways, join me or die, because otherwise you're on my team, because I'm not giving up, okay? Six and a half years, I would have gone 10 years to get Michael Klaus in. Dr. Michael Colgan, I was told about him four and a half years. Dr. Colgan does not answer a phone. If a phone's ringing right here, he will not answer it. Try to have a conversation with someone that won't pick up a phone, okay? That was a challenging one, four and a half years, okay? You look at um, Kyle the Crash, Man of the Year for Isogenx. Now I got Kyle in, he used the product for four years. After four years, he was cycling once, maybe twice a week. Okay, when nothing to do with the business. I knew if he ever saw it, he'd take off. I finally, after four years, got him to a university training that we did. We do them also down in Australia, soon in this region. Got him to a university training, the light bulb came in, and the next 12 months created a multiple six-figure income. Okay? So follow up. I need to get better at it. Chances are probably you need to get better at it. We all do. Okay? Again, I'm just sharing stuff that's meaningful to me. Hopefully it helps some of you. Again, 2% of sales are made on the first contact. 3% are sales on the second, 5% on the third, 10% are sales are made on the fourth. 80% are on the fifth to twelfth contact. Okay, this isn't just network marketing stats. This is sales stats. If you're a car salesman, if you're a real estate person, it doesn't matter. If you're in the sales industry, you know 80% is on the fifth to twelfth contact because they gotta know, like, and trust you. Okay? Brian Crothers says those exact three words in this book. Know, like, and trust you. Michael Klaus says those. Randy Gage says that. Talk to any of the network marketing professionals. Leroy will say that. They gotta know, like, and trust you. Okay? How does someone get to know you? You gotta have conversations with them. It doesn't happen in the first contact. 
Look at this. 92% of all salespeople give up without hearing the fifth no. Michael Close wouldn't be in isogenics today. Neither would Dr. Colgan. Some of you heard of David Wood. David Wood wouldn't be in isogenics today. 92% of all salespeople give up without hearing the fifth no from a customer, but research shows 60% of all customers say no four times before finally saying yes. <laughs> Commit to getting your five to 12 no's. You're gonna love this next slide. You know, I, I don't even like the next slide that's coming, I warn you. I know it's coming, I don't like this next slide. You're not gonna like me, but here goes. <laughs> Go for no. Collect 50 no's this week. That's my challenge for you. Should you be up to it? It's an interesting perspective. Just go out, do not, Chris, do not worry about signing up any one of those 50 people. If you do, great. It's not about that. Go out and get 50 notes this week. Because here's where the magic is. Seriously, if you can get 50 notes this week, now all of a sudden, connecting with people, I promise you, is going to become easier. The fear of rejection is going to be radically, radically reduced. What is it going to be? Radically reduced. Okay? You look at, at a restaurant. Okay? Jeremy and I go out for dinner later on. The waitress offers me, offers me a cup of coffee and I say no to her. Do you think she goes in the back and starts crying? <laughs> oh my God, that, that customer didn't like me. He would said no to having a cup of coffee. Oh my God. No. Okay, you know how many people probably, she probably gets 50 no's a day. Would you like a cup of coffee, sir? Would you like a cup of coffee, ma'am? No. She doesn't take it personally, okay? So... Go out and collect 50 no's this week. It will change who you are. I promise you. Okay, you guys may laugh and think I'm crazy, but honestly, this will make a difference. I challenge any one of you to actually do it. When I come back in a couple of months, I want you to tell me that this doesn't work. Okay? I know it does. My own personal experience, I know it does. Okay? So yes is the destination, no is how we get there. Sorry. Again, you can go to become an electrical engineer or an astrophysicist or something like that. I mean, this is really high tech stuff, guys. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay, so decide what you want. Believe you can achieve it. Believe you deserve it. Okay, you do deserve it. Each and every one of you in this room deserves it. And believe it's possible for you. Because it is. Guys, thank you so much for coming out this evening. It's fun. So we have about 10 minutes, Jeremy. Can we just have a little bit of a chat? Or if someone has to, um, if someone has to leave, I mean, hey, that's cool. But I'm, I'm happy, we have about 10 minutes before 10 o'clock, so I'm happy to hang around and answer any questions you may have. Again, it's just gonna be from my perspective, what, what, what works for me. I'm sure if Leroy came up and joined me up here, he may give it a different spin, but I bet you that we're gonna say the same thing. Maybe in different words, okay, but we're gonna say the same thing. So. Any questions? Any clarification that any of you require? Alan, our guest. Uh oh, he's reading the application for it. I don't read those, sir. I, I, you know what? I, I'm not going to say I dropped out of school, but I don't have a university degree. I did drop out of university. I was, I'm honest, I was going to university to get my business degree. I live up in Canada. It's kind of snowy in the wintertime, gray, rainy in Vancouver. And I had a buddy come up from California. He said, Warren, you gotta come down here, bro. I mean, it is amazing. We have a house on New Newport Beach, three minutes from the water, you're gonna love it. Why don't you take a semester off? <laughs> Rainy, gray, did, did I tell you the girls are in bikinis down there? I was gone. <laughs> Dad, guess what, I'm not going back to school come January. I'm, I'm going to California, taking a semester off. I mean, he freaked. 
two and a half years later, I came home. I, so application forms like that, I, I don't know how to read them, but okay, what, your question on a serious note. I have two questions. Two questions. One question in the picture here. Yes. Is it Jeju Island? <laughs> um, you know what? That quote's from Jack Canfield. Jack Canfield has an amazing home on Maui. I'd be willing to bet that picture's actually taken on Maui. Okay, that, that would be my guess, but I don't know. But I probably could find out. If it was really important to you, I, I have a real good friend of mine that's good friends with Jack, and I could probably pick up the phone and get you an answer, but I probably wouldn't use that, 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 that favor up on finding out where that picture is. Okay, next question. Good question, though. So please give me the answer. Please give me the answer. Second question. Okay, second question. If I sign it as an independent associate tonight, yes. any special? Any special. I believe you, you're going to end up with free membership. You're not going to pay for membership tonight. And you're going to get a free training manual. And you're going to get a commitment from Carissa to do everything in her power. And I'm prepared to help her. Everything in her power to help you get your 10 enrollments in the next 30 days. So no difference. Big difference. She's committed. I'm committed. You have a team in this room that are committed to help you. We're one family. Honest. But yes, be yes, no, be no. There you go. Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. 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 Okay, so hang on, just pause. So she's saying, <clears throat> if I send five email, e emails a day out to people I know, okay, um, I'll tell you from my own personal experience and the experience of my team members, don't bother wasting your time. I've had individuals do that and get incredibly upset and emotional. Yeah, females, guys, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just, you know what, there, I've, had, I've had some female acquaintances or friends of mine that have done that and they're just absolutely shocked that here they sent this email out to close friends of theirs and they don't even get a reply back. And I'm just telling you, I don't know why that is, but that's just the way it is. I, I wouldn't do it. Um, what I would do is pick up the phone, talk to Nancy where she hears your excitement. She needs to hear it. Like, you can be, she can be on the other side of the planet, but she can hear it in your voice. There's something going on. And it's going to be that resonance, that, 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 that excitement inside of you that's going to cause her to take a look. Okay, Amy's getting people to take a look. Okay, it's because of her before and after. She'll talk and go like, oh my goodness, you know what, Nora, you've got to check this out. And she'll quickly, as she's talking, she'll blast in the picture and it's like, oh my God, what happened to you? I go, that's what I'm saying. You've got to check this out. Yeah, okay, what do you want me to look at? Guaranteed she's going to look. I'll, you know what, Nora, I'll send you an email. Check these two videos out. You bet. And she will. Guaranteed 100% of them will check it out. But if you just send the email first, from my experience, it doesn't work very well. How about you, Leroy? Doesn't work? No. Clinton? Doesn't work. Okay, so you have three three network marketing professionals saying it doesn't work. So, again, I don't know why it is. It just doesn't. But great question. I'm not yes. a network marketing pro I'm I'm not a network marketing professional. Yes, I send out the emails. None of them get answered. None it has to answer. be a phone call. Yeah. yeah. Same. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Yes. No time. Yeah, but she's saying what happens if the person's in another country? Skype, Skype call. 
Skype calls, Skype calls. Okay, another question. Go ahead. This is the phone. Pick up the phone and call and talk to Nancy. Yeah, but you're, you're, you're not, okay, so here's the deal, okay? Okay, no, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Okay, just hand. You know what? Pick up the phone, don't even go for the no, make it easier. Pick up the phone and connect with 50 of your friends. Ask Nancy how she's doing, what's going on in her life, how are the kids, what's new? Ask a bunch of questions all about her. Be genuinely interested in her. At some point during that conversation, she's going to say, I'm sorry, your name was? Noraini. Noraini? Noraini. Noraini. Okay. She's going to say, Noraini, what's going on with you? And that's your opportunity to say, you know what? My girlfriend, Nora, got me on this amazing nutritional program. You wouldn't believe what's happening. I'm sleeping so much better. My energy's gone up. I'm just feeling amazing. She will, what is it? Let her ask you. There's, when you travel, or at least for me, when I travel, okay, I have two ways to share it. I can share what I want to tell someone easily in five minutes. Now, I could meet Alan and basically non-stop for five minutes. And at the end of it, he's going to go, ah! Like, <laughs> he's going to want nothing to do with it. Or I can have a conversation with Alan and just say a little bit and cause him to say, well, what's that all about? What do you mean healthy aging? I mean, what you want to do is develop the skills, and it is, it is developing it, where you have him pull that information from me. Okay. It's the same five minutes worth of data that I'm sharing, but I make Alan pull it from me. You talk to Leroy, you talk to Clinton, that's what it's about. And again, it's a skill to develop, but I'll just tell you, for you, where you're at right now, I would say just pick up the phone and have 50 quality conversations with friends of yours. Start there. It will. It, 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 it's the first step, okay? Next question, a great, great question. Nora. I'm from Bandung, Indonesia. If I want to become a member, say, must register in Jakarta or? Okay, sorry, say that again. I, I, I missed your question. You got it? Okay, next question. Thank you. Any other questions? I'm under doctor supervision. Is this safe for me to do? Okay. Okay, okay. So, a couple of things there. First of all, let me. If you're dealing with someone that's under doctor supervision and you've got them to the point where they're interested in doing this, what I'd recommend is you print out of our major products, cleanse, shakes, ionics, if product B, have them take the product information sheets there and have say this to the doctor, Dr. Smith, Dr. Carr, whoever it is, I wanna go on this nutritional program Will you please look at the ingredients? Is there anything in there that you think might hurt me? <laughs> if not, will you please monitor me? Okay? He'll go through it. He's going to be looking for ephedra, malwong, there's a colon. There's a bunch of stuff that he'll be looking for. None of that's in there. And he'll monitor you. Okay? So you always want to ask him, like, will you please monitor me? Because if I go to my doctor, let's say I want to start working out at the gym and I want to shortcut it and I'm going to shortcut it by taking steroids. No, steroids in North America is a banned substance. Are they banned here? No. Okay, but yes, no, no. <laughs> some are saying yes, okay. So. No, no, it's not banned here. It's not banned here. It's not banned, okay. So, You've got to be prescribed, I think. It has to be prescribed. Okay, so in North America, steroids are banned, okay? I can go to my doctor and say, Dr. Carr, you know what? I'm going on these steroids. I want you to monitor me. Okay, a legal substance, he must monitor me, okay? So it, it's how you ask the question. So that's one part. If you're gonna ask the doctor, send them with the information, 
and say, will you, will you look, is there anything there that could hurt me? And then will you please monitor me? And what you'll find is you'll get a lot of positive feedback. Now your other question is you're saying that they're, they're on medications and, sorry, Okay, so supplements. <clears throat> Here's the issue with supplements. You need to educate that person. Okay, the reality is our foods, our soils, are nutritionally bankrupt. They are. If you look at the top two to three feet of soil where there's the massive agricultural going on because of all the herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, insecticides that they're spraying on, it's killing the microorganisms that break down that rock mineral, turn it into organic matter that the plant takes, uptakes, and then you consume it. You can do look up a study on its spinach. I have it on another PowerPoint. It's something like a bowl of spinach from 1970 or 60. The equivalent you would have to eat is something like 23 bowls today. Okay, that's factual. So that person that's saying, hey, I just eat the foods. I don't need to take supplements. Well, what about this? Are you eating 23 bowls of spinach a day? That's just taking care of, say, the iron and whatever else you need. What about everything else? Okay, it's, it, it's a proven fact that we really should be supplementing. Why do Olympic athletes supplement? All the world-class athletes, talk to Dr. Colgan. They supplement big time. Talk to... Um, um, Natalie Cook, our five-time Olympian gold medalist in isogenics, okay? Absolutely take supplements. You need to. To perform at that level, you don't have a choice. So again, it's just a process of educating. But great, great question. Yeah, yes? Just a quick question, talking about communications. Uh, I mean, to talking about communications, uh, because you talk about email, so what about like uh, social media? Because it's real time, you can talk on Facebook, FaceTime. Um, Jackson Parr on our team, he's 26 years old and he maxed out his business center in 13 months, so just over a year. 85% of his business was done through social media. Now that isn't my expertise, okay? However, I'll tell you that in social media, what it's all about is putting out interest creating comments, pictures, it's putting stuff out to capture people's attention and go, what's this all about? It's not about putting isogenics, isogenics, join me, I have an opportunity. It's not that. It's putting stuff up there that causes like, hey, what's going on? Okay, that's where the magic is of social media. Okay, Clinton put on, changed down his Facebook profile his before and after picture, just a headshot. And if you look at it, it's like, holy smokes, what happened? And he's starting to get all these networkers because he's been in this industry for quite a few years going, he's not even contacting these people. They're contacting him now going, what are you doing? Like, like what are you, seriously, what are you doing? We need to talk. That's what so, That's how you leverage social media. Do you have anything to add to that, Leroy? But that, that's really what it is. It's, it's putting stuff out there. It, it may be taking Amy's before and after picture, doing a post, congratulating her, saying, you're doing incredible that, that nutritional program that you're on, the same as Jack Canfield. I mean, he was rocking it for over five years. You're now doing it. Like, way to go, girl. Congratulations. And then tag some people and let it be. That's going to cause people to go, well, what is she doing? Okay, so that's that's how you work social media. I'm not the expert there, but that's what it's about. Okay. Sorry, could you write the guy's name down again? I'm quite here. Jackson Parr. Okay. So Facebook him. He's a good guy to follow. <laughs> so is Emily uh, and uh, Hayden Vera. They're really good. Um, so is Lori Harder. So is Sarah Jokes. They're they're Facebook gurus, not me. Next question, yes. Okay. Um, we'll, be discussing about, we'll be discussing about contacting your warm circle, that means your friends. Yes. How do you, how do, you do uh, what about cold calling? 
how do you invite somebody that you don't know? Because eventually your warm circle oh. will oh, finish. Oh, I love that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what she said? Okay, you don't, you don't want to leave. You want to hear this? You're crazy to walk out of the room right now. Don't leave. You do not want to leave. You want to hear this. This is huge. Okay. Your name is? Rokian. 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 She just said, I've contacted all my warm market. Now what? I ran out of friends, right? Okay, that's fair. Now, this Bible of network marketing. Okay. Oh, oh God, I am so happy you. you oh, it's all over the place. Okay. You guys may or may not see it in the front row. What does it say right there? I don't have my spank. <laughs> this picture. What does it say right beside it? Recruiting through. Say it again. Recruiting, recruiting through. Recruiting through. Okay. If you do this right, I promise you, you'll never. You'll never what? Never run out. Of, louder, what? Never. Never run out of people to contact. If you, Amy has become a pipeline to probably another two to three hundred people for me to talk to. The reason was is I got Amy an amazing product experience. Now she's opening up the door. Okay? That's what it's about. It's not necessarily that Amy's going to be the rock star, but she's introducing us. As a result of Amy, Amy introduced us to Jean. Jean introduced us to um, Lee Chu. Lee Chu brought in her boyfriend, Elger. Elger's mother just happens to be a lady that's been in network marketing for over 20 years and could just crush it. She's that good. I met with her on this drive down from Kuala Lumpur today. We had lunch and guess what? She's in. Okay? It's recruiting through. You should never, ever, ever, thank you so much for saying that, ever run out of people to talk to. Because if you're taking care of your people well, that you actually care about them, you make sure Alan gets a great experience, whatever it is, sleeping better, maybe he has a digestive challenge, whatever it is, you get him a great product experience, he's going to open up his Rolodex to you. And I bet you if you look in your phone, just, we'll test this. Can you turn on your phone for a second? Can you look at your contacts? <clears throat> oh, he has an iPhone. Is that an iPhone? Samsung, I don't know if Samsung does it. If you click on contacts, and then you scroll right to the bottom, does it tell you how many you have? On the iPhone, it tells you. Just click at the bottom. Right there. Oh, the sound, no, yep, how many? One, five, seven. 157 people. So Carissa, and that's low. I bet if we did a survey in this room, that's he's probably the lowest in this room for contacts, okay? If Carissa get, when, sorry, when Carissa, because I'm gonna speak forth as it will be. So when Carissa gets Alan a great product experience, she just opened up to another 157 people. And Alan will gratefully share because Carissa really cares about him. Now, if Carissa is all about making some money off of Alan, you know what? He's going to sense that and she's not going to get one name from him. You know what? Forget it. Forget it, Carissa. No, not going to happen. Hell will freeze over before that happens. But if she treats him nice, she cares about him as a human being, wants to make a difference in his life, I guarantee you those 157 names are now her names. And that's what it's about. So awesome, awesome question. Okay, so do we do one more and then call quits, Jeremy? I've got to talk to the boss now. We're over time. Okay, one more. Let's say that uh, we have some upline, and then we have downline, yes. and the downline bring prospect. Yes. And then all of us meeting in a cafe or whatever. 
who is supposed to pay? <laughs> Okay. That's a good one. Um, if you go with Michael Klaus, Michael Klaus will have everyone pick up their own their own tab. Okay? It's not that he can't afford to pick it up. But if Michael Klaus every time is meeting with a group, right? You're bringing people to the coffee shop or I pick up the bill for everyone and that's what happens. Now all of a sudden, let's say you bring in Nancy who is finances are a little on the tight side and she's looking at it and going, well, every time we bring a bunch of people in, whoever's their sort of enrolling sponsor or something like that picks up the entire bill all the time, I can't do that and you're gonna actually put a roadblock in the way to build your business. So if you wanna pick up a tab occasionally, fantastic. If you pick it up all the time, you're actually setting a pretty bad precedent because there are people where finances are tight. When I started out in this business, finances were incredibly tight for me. If I had to pick up the bill 100% of the time, it very well could have taken me out of the game, okay? so. How about you, Leroy? What would you say about that? <laughs> very hard question. Actually, is is to me it's very simple. Okay, I I always see my prospect or even my downlines at the hotel. I bring them to the hotel because my business is international business. Yes. But I stay in the lobby. <laughs> I stay in the lobby, so they will do not come and ask for uh, for for any drinks or what because the lobby is free. <laughs> awesome, awesome. What's that? Why not do it in the office? Bring them to the office. And then, better yet, then we have Jeremy put out want more energy and all that other good stuff for him. Thank you, Jeremy. <laughs> okay, so so in, in, in fairness, okay, it, it's ran 15 minutes over. We'll call it done. Guys, I've had an absolute treat being here tonight, sincerely. It is, there's a few of all, you on my team, I'd say 98% of you don't financially impact me at all. But I'll tell you what, you guys have made the evening so special for me. I mean, your smile, I mean, it's just like, this is what it's about. You guys are juicing me up. <laughs> Seriously, look out for the people on Sunday when I'm flying to Hawaii. Because if you're sitting next to me the way I'm feeling right now, you're in. <laughs> but it's because of you. You're doing that for me, and I just want to say thank you so much. I have one question, not satisfied, because... Yeah, but no, we're, we'll talk afterwards. We're not leaving. But we, we got to let people run. Please, please sharing. Okay. <laughs> so that's one, that's one. <laughs> You see, just now when I pose that question, we talk about warm circle. What is your script like if somebody give a name or, or you pick up from a newspaper or whatever, it's a cold calling. How do you invite when it's a cold calling? That's okay. I don't cold call. Okay. Okay, I'm just saying me. I don't cold call. If it's if it's coming from a friend, then I would want Alan. Remember, he has 157 names there. Okay, I don't want Alan to say, "Here's Amy Smith, and here's her phone number." You you contact her. No, 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 no. It's about Alan getting Amy on the phone with me. That's called a three-way call. Introducing me because there's a we could do a training all on three-way calls, and maybe next time when I come down, we can do a training on that. It's all about. Prior to me getting on the phone with Alan, I want Alan telling me about Amy. Okay, I want to know what she does for a profession. I want to know what he values in her. Okay, when we get on the phone, when he introduces me to Amy, he's going to edify me. He's going to say, you know what, Amy? Here's a good friend of mine, Warren Lance. He's been in the business over ten years. He's one of the Isogenix millionaires, top money earner, really expanding in Southeast Asia. I just love you to have a conversation with him. I'm going to say, hi, Amy. Like, great to meet you. Alan's told me so much about you. I understand that you're a, I don't know, a incredible surfer. 
Maybe she's from Bali and she does a lot of surfing. Or I understand your 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 university professor in Malaysia, one of the top archaeologists there. I mean, you've been on these incredible digs in in maybe Egypt or wherever. I, I mean, just tell me a little bit about that, and and I'm going to engage her. Okay, you you got to build the rapport with the person. And then you take it the next step. But maybe that's what we should do, Jeremy, is next time we can do a training all on just the basics. That's just a fundamental skill to develop. So, but again, guys, thank you so much. I've had a blast. Oh, 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 quick question, quick question. We had some guests. Did anyone bring out more than one guest tonight with them? Did anyone bring two guests? Just a question. Come on. No one brought two? Who brought a guest? One. 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 No one brought two. Seriously? We were recommended from people in Australia. You were recommended to show up from people in Australia. Yeah. Okay, but that Australian isn't here for me to reward, but that's cool. Same. <laughs> really glad you guys came up. Australia is on fire. Talk to me afterwards. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I could share some stuff there. So. You know what I'm going to do? Because Alan's joining this evening. He already said that. I'm going to, not to Alan, because I make sure Chris shares it, but I was going to, I told Jeremy, whoever brought the most guests out tonight, I was going to gift them with one of these books, Building an Empire. So this is for you, Carissa. Congratulations. Thank you, Warren. So, guys, uh, why do you think of Warren's uh, presentation today? So did you guys learn a lot? Yes. So you guys ready to rock Singapore? Yeah. Okay. Morning. Hey, tomorrow evening, guys. If you're seriously gonna rock Singapore, then you're gonna be here tomorrow evening with a yes. Okay. Yeah. Tomorrow night we're gonna have Mr. Lee Chandler right there. We're gonna be here from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Okay. So guys, I uh, just wanna thank Warren. You know. Uh, it's always great to have him in these parts, you know, he traveled to Malaysia, Vietnam, and Singapore, then back to Malaysia, right? So, come on, uh, give him a big hand, last one. Yeah. Yes, one more. All right, okay. Uh, this Friday, uh, tomorrow is English Opportunity Meeting by Lee Chandler. This Friday, we have Bahasa Melayu in BM uh, Opportunity Meeting. We have a fantastic leader here, Mr. Leroy. Come on, give him a big hand. All the way from Kuala Lumpur. Okay, he's going to be here, he's going to give you guys a presentation, an opportunity meeting presentation in Bahasa Melayu. So if you have Malay speaking friends uh, or family, bring them over, alright? You're going to rock Singapore. Okay, so guys, have a great night. i see you guys tomorrow. Thank you very much. <laughs>